should start with uh, saying that microlearning can be used in many ways. And uh, first of all, let's define that it can be used as a standalone uh, tool, solution, or whatsoever, or as a component to support other programs. I mean, to prepare before a learning event or just to follow up it. Um, then a module can be built as a linear narrative going from something simple to more complex things. Um, or alternatively, we might use a network of related concepts and processes, you know, building the so-called micro-learning path. But what is the most important is to be specific, uh, to stick to the learning needs, and to try to limit chunks by 10 minutes. Um, though I must say that in some cases, they are supposed to be even shorter. Um, Microlearning modules uh, might include texts, videos, images, infographics, podcasts, um, or surprising as it might sound, um, a stand-up performance works as an example of microlearning too. And I can even share with you some personal experience. Um, on my previous job, we had a Friday ritual when a team member dived into a work-related topic and presented it to others. Yeah. Um, the whole presentation took up to 15 minutes. And afterwards, we got um, some instructions on how to implement that knowledge. And uh, from the hindsight, I should say that this approach was extremely efficient to the company. It involved elements of social learning, um, collaboration, um, building up corporate learning culture. And actually, it was pretty fun. Um, you see, I remember those days fondly. So just highly recommend it. Try to implement it in just in your company and you'll see how it works. You'll, you'll definitely enjoy it.